now. Good Friday morning. Hey. 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 It's Friday. Nothing bad. Nothing good. I mean, not no. Everything good. Sorry, everyone. I stayed up late watching movies, so what it's not. We're trending topics. Nothing good. Nothing good. I'm sorry, guys. I meant everything good. <laughs> Bye, I guess. Well, see ya. Uh, I guess I'll just walk off too. I, I don't know. Should I? No. What are we talking about? We're what talking we ta about what are we a arguing about? movie, an animal in position of power, and an interesting topic that made it all the way to the house floor. So first up. Last night, and the reason why I'm tired is Captain Marvel premiered in theaters across the country. And Marvel fans are seeming to like the new character. It stars Brie Larson as Carol Danvers. She becomes one of the most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a huge galactic war between two alien races. Captain Marvel co-stars Samuel L. Jackson and Jude Law. There's also a little tribute in there to Stan Lee in the very beginning. So, um, you know. What'd you think? I, you know, I'm not going to ruin anything, but I think well, it was a good I didn't movie. I not ask you to ruin it. I, I know, you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? No, I'm just, I'm letting them know. So if you're listening, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. But I thought it was good. It was a solid movie. Um, it, you know, I thought maybe she could have loosened up as the main character. But, you know, it's her first Marvel film. So I thought it was really nice. And, you know, I have no complaints about it. It had a lot of the humor that all the other ones do. So if you're going to go see this, uh, I, I recommend it, really. It was good. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to see it. Yeah. Cool. Should be good. Made okay. me excited for the next one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a goat in charge of a town in Vermont, Fairhaven, Vermont, to be exact. Uh, this is Lincoln, Lincoln the goat. He beat his opponent by three votes to win the mayor's race. Wasn't an election in the traditional sense, though, because the town doesn't actually have a mayor. And the vote was really a fundraiser to build a new <laughs> playground. While it fell short of the financial goal, though, the town Aww. didn't learn a bit about <laughs> civics. Now, Lincoln the Goat won't be required to run council meetings or sign bills in the law, but since he is a public servant now, he is scheduled to attend a number of events over the next year. Sign bills? Is he a billy goat? Oh, thank you. That was so good. I'm so proud of you. Ha, 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 ha. It wasn't um, a bad <laughs> one. <laughs> no. Okay. This is funny. I know. I like that this is actually a thing for a good cause. They didn't raise all the money, I guess, but maybe next time. Maybe they'll have another fundraiser. Yeah. Animals are fun. People like... I don't know why they don't have a mayor, though. That's my other question. So I don't know. Something I have to look into. Yeah. Small town, maybe. It's yeah. Small. The band Nickelback has been a joke as to something everybody hates for years now, but... Now, they are a topic on the House floor. It was at first mentioned in the usual way during debate over voting rights provision. Representative Mark Pocan from Wisconsin brought up the measure's low popularity, and that, he, he concluded, is, quote, probably about the percent of people who think Nickelback is their favorite band in this country. It's pretty low. Representative Rodney Davis, though, for one, was not going to stand silent, and here's how it went down. Four uh, wanted to keep this provision. Everyone else wanted to change this out of 77,000. Uh, that's probably about the percent of people who think Nickelback is their favorite band in this country. It's pretty low. Uh, and I think uh, if you look at it, Nickelback's your favorite band. I, I, I apologize to the gentleman. Why would you criticize one of the greatest <laughs> bands of the 90s? Wow. Well. <laughs> so, yep. first of all, Nickelback's first hit was This Is How You Remind Me, and it came out in mm -hmm. 2000. Mm -hmm. So they are a 2000s band more so than a 90s yes. band, to mm -hmm. fact check the congressman on that one. <laughs> yes, that is true. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is hilarious. First though. of all, yeah, it's also know. to call them one of the greatest bands, I'm not going to voice an opinion on, but I will speak for the masses saying that a lot of people don't agree with that either. Yes, I agree. I don't, it's. Unless he was doing that ironically. Yeah. There's a joke that goes been. around that says something like, it's like using a fake ID to get into a Nickelback concert. I mean, that's what people say. So I feel bad for them, kind of. I used to like that song, Photograph. I mean, that's like one I, I genuinely liked. So uh, I, 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 don't, I feel bad. I don't hate Nickelback, yeah. I have to say. Uh, uh, I just think it was funny business. because you could tell Representative Pocan really was not <laughs> expecting anyone to rebuttal that. Right. And then, uh, yeah, Congressman Davis was like, you know, Listen, I actually, yeah, I actually like, really like Nickelback. That's, like Nicole that's yeah, <laughs> that's so fun. What else is funny about it is people people are so mean to Nickelback, but their frontman Chad Kroger is actually a really good guy. <laughs> He's involved in a lot of charity projects mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. So kind of unfortunate, but very unfortunate, but really funny. Yeah, really funny. <laughs> well, we want to know what you guys have to say about Nickelback. Are you a fan of their music? Go to our Facebook page, take a vote. Say yes or no, leave your comments. We'll take a look at those at the end of the hour. But I still love that this is what people are talking about. Oh, absolutely. So is it a, is it a good really band? Funny. That's up for debate, but yeah. I don't think they're a band of the 90s.
Right. Yes. You are correct. That's true. Fact checking, you are correct. More yeah. 2000s. But let us know what you guys have to say about Nickelback. I'm sure those will be really funny comments. So to come on the morning show, we are celebrating an Italian dish. What one local chef says are the secrets to making the perfect meatball. Plus, live through Wednesday is here to play for the first time. You're going to hear them coming up in Friday Jam. Stick with us.